always start off a day of cleaning with the best of intentions. You're going to get the whole thing done. It's going to be great. Let's start with the sink and all the dirty dishes that can go in the dishwasher. Oh, but then you take a look at the stove. That's pretty gross, so let's clean that. What about the rest of it? Uh, yeah, probably the top two. And the countertops. Yep, those need a good scrub as well. Sigh. One thing leads to another and pretty soon you're deep cleaning the entire counter. Including your spice rack. But then you remember about the plant. It had some dead leaves on it. Maybe you should trim that. But look what you found! It sprouted a flower! You dropped a leaf plant on the ground and then you realize that underneath the counter edge, there's a lot of crumbs. You should probably get those. Those are gross. Don't forget, it's time to clean up the rest of the counter where you've been piling junk for the last week, which you promised yourself last week that you wouldn't do. And now again, this week, you're piling junk on the counter again. Sorting that mail, futile. But, at least you can remind yourself that you paid all your bills, even though they're still sitting on the counter from the last time you paid the bills. Well, you found some coins in an unexpected place. Add it to the piggy bank. You know, those magazines that you left out for the cat to sit on, those probably don't need to be there anymore. And all the rest of the cat toys that the cat doesn't seem to want to play with can probably be put away, as well as all the other things that you left out. But you told yourself it was okay that you left them out because you were going to use them. And that was two weeks ago, and they're now still sitting out. But once you're done, it's always good to vacuum. Vacuuming makes a room feel so much better. Then you remember that you left out that puzzle, and that you said you were going to finish because you didn't finish one last time, but, you know, it's better to put it away because clearly it's been sitting out for two weeks and you're not going to finish it. And then once you're done with all of that, the house seems pretty clean. So you sit down with your cup of tea and you think about how you just spent your afternoon cleaning your apartment and pretty soon it's going to be dirty again. And then you remember, you never started the laundry. You didn't do it. You forgot. So that's going to wait another week. So instead of getting upset about it, now you decide it's a good time to play bowling. Go bowling with your new bowling set that you bought that's plastic bowling that you thought the cat might like, so you justified it as a cat toy. And really you just bought it because you thought it was gonna be lots of fun and turns out it is so moral of the story is bowling is better than cleaning thanks for watching everybody leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of cleaning what is your least favorite cleaning task how do you keep your house clean if you haven't already why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for more weekly videos and as always do something positive today. See you next time!